Hey folks, you guys are going to love this episode. Mid-December, slabs go on the boat from the beginning. Do me a favor and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It helps us out. Here we go. Oh boy. First, literally the first cast of the day. I know we didn't get a good shot on the screen of it, but I knew where it was at. It's a good fish too. Look how beautiful that is, folks. You gotta love it in the morning, man. Get up here for that sunrise. Look at this pig. This is a good fish. I don't know if you guys will be able to appreciate that, but that's a sunrise. That's a good size fish right there. That's a solid, thick back. Look at the glisten. The glisten right there. <laughs> yeah, we're letting them go, folks. I'm fishing with that. Uh, I got a couple of these on the website, but this is a gold 1 16th ounce head. Let's see if you can see it make it shimmer. I don't know. It's uh, been working for me. And we're gonna cast right here at these, uh, you can see it falling down there. These are way deeper than I really want to fish here, but Let's see if we can't grab one off the bottom real quick. Oh yeah, there he is, look at that. Two casts, two fish. Look at this. This is this is equally as big as the last one. Can get that same glisten? Can we get that same glisten right there, folks? Can we do it? Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Man, just casting out there, feeling that subtle bite. Although they're pretty aggressive. We are at a cold morning. Cold morning. Um, eyelets are freezing up now. I had water in the bottom of my boat and it was all frozen about fell on my tail came really close i did not know but today is a uh, the start of a real cold front man this would make it three casts in a row if this guy could catch up to it but i just don't think he's going to do it i'm gonna give him all the chance in the world though here he comes you see him on the screen there yeah anytime they're moving slow like that they just don't seem to have the giddy up on them. I know they probably ain't gonna make it. I uh, start this episode telling you guys a little bit about uh, some of the other groups I'm a part of. I've been kind of trying to do that in the last episodes that uh, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram. There's a uh, TikTok channel, Three Pound Fishing. And that's not just you know music and stuff like that. There's a lot of learning stuff. So when we talk about the loop knot, I just put a loop knot out there on a lot of these websites. And um, a really good live scope group called Live Scope Everything You Need to Know. You can go check that out. This guy came a long way. I love this light right here. Check that out. That could be a good picture right there. Good fish. Third fish of the day, and it did not take long. Man, good night. Good night, man. If we were keep, keeping fish, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's good stuff. So for those that are just into live scope, this is an 8600 series live scope with the color amber. And it's my new, the way I like to, to look at it, I, I literally just have the default settings with the. Uh, noise reject set on high so that is really all that i do well i don't understand i thought he had that in his mouth oh i just got the camera on and this is a toad this is a toad another fish. this is <laughs> they just keep they are healthy man that is a solid fish look at that gosh dang so right now all I'm doing is I'm scouting for a, a guide trip. Uh, you know, these there's, these fish are a lot of points right now, main lake points, and um, I'm just going around seeing and comparing the points to each other and verifying that I've got the correct ones for the guide trip so that we have a great experience. So I don't stick around very often. I've caught, what, four great fish off this point here, but um, I move on to another point, and I'm just looking for, you know, 
quantity probably more than anything um, right now is just knowing where the bulk of the fish are and I do that just because I know the lake so if a lot of people are going to want to say how did you find these uh, pieces of structure well finding structure for me right now is just going out on any lake for that matter um, looking for dirty water looking at creeks on maps I think it's exceptional the map system that a lot of these uh, Garmin units have if you have a unit that has uh, mapping and you're finding the creek channels and may, the main point I guess I always tell people is go to the main points on the lake first that is uh, a great starting point oh man I'll tell you what winter fishing just doesn't get any better if you're interested in some of those guide trips let me know got plenty of availability a lot of people buying the gift certificates this year uh, I'll tell you what this bait is working so is that gold head wow we just found our first school of the day there I mean that's the beauty of winter fishing right I mean they're just different ways you can catch them there I am dropping in boy they see it right away and there he is it doesn't take much look at that man this day is incredible man We've had rain for the last probably three days. Look at that pig. Check this out, folks. Ice, baby. Ice. That's no good. I don't like it. I do not like cold weather if you don't know. I know a little something about three pound fishing. I am not the biggest fan of cold weather, but I can fish in it. I can fish in it all day long, but typically it's the last place thing I want. I want a sunny beach. <laughs> I want the sun, the warmth on my face, but I can fish in it, that's for sure. I'm catching tons of fish right now. Winter is uh, is going strong, but uh, the, fish, the fishing's going strong. It's just amazing how good it's gotten. Great fish, just another great fish. Good night. Look at that glisten right there. There's our school right there. Love some feedback on the new view here. See if you guys like it or not. I was gonna share with you guys some thoughts on the LVS 32. Here's the LVS 32. I uh and like most people would think, I don't have an LVS 34. I get that asked a lot during the guide trips. And um, I just think the pictures equal, <laughs> really, between the two, the LVS 32 and the LVS 34. Um, I know that it's probably about 20% better on that L 34, but reality is, I'm, it's just, to me, not worth spending the money. I just don't think the picture's that much better that I would want to invest in it. So if you have the 32, stick with it. Don't worry about upgrading. If you're getting a new unit, if money's no option, then probably go with a 34. If uh, if you're pinching your pennies and you're you know you, it's it's between getting a bigger screen and the 34, I'm going bigger screen all day long. Um, I just think the 32, and a lot of guys that are on the tournament trails are not making that switch to 34 um, until something radical changes. I just don't think it's worth the upgrade. So that's just my thoughts, but. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, all that great stuff. Check out those that Facebook group, three, uh, Live Scope, everything you need to know. And uh, have a great winter season. Have a great one. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.